Hello, Ian here from Car Police Workshop. Welcome back to another video. In this one, we're doing a delivery van. Okay, so in this one, we've uh, taken a ordinary diecast car, 143 scale. And we've turned it into Mr. Kowalski's bakery delivery van. So we'll go through it uh, stage by stage. Hope you enjoy it. Let's get on with it. Okay, here we go. I'm starting off life as a Coleman's mustard van. Uh, it's a 143 scale um, car that I picked up off eBay. And uh, it's a Model T Ford, so it's, it's around about the same era, two pounds, eight pence. So you can pick them up cheap as chips. The only thing is, I want to put Kowalski on the side of that, so it's going to have to be a custom paint job. Um, scale wise, that's Miss Rosier there, so it's pretty good. It's about, um, it's only a little bit out, but that's the the closest scale that you can get to. You know, night model stuff um, so they use 143 scale uh, Batmobiles and stuff like that and they fit in just fine so um, what I did first stage was obviously take it out of the box <laughs> but then they gave it a coat of um, testers doll coat so it's got a nice matte finish on it so it's taken away that sheen of the metal you know that you get on uh, brand new um, toy cars so I'm going to spray it brown and the livery is going to be brown and cream. Um, so we do the lettering in cream and obviously the body of the uh, the van is going to be in brown. I'm going to bring back that to uh, a metal colour as well along with the, the window screen frame and we'll put a bit of gloss on the lights as well. But everything else is going to be brown, the roof's going to stay black. So I shall get the airbrush prepped and ready to go. I'm not going to take it apart because they're rivets um, and I can't, I don't want to break the rivets because I won't be able to glue it back together again. Uh, I know they used to make um, model cars with little screws and you could take the base plates off but it must have changed the process somewhere along the line. So there's no way of disassembling it, I'm going to have to paint it as is. So let's fire up the airbrush and get started. Okay, so put a bit of flow improver in, uh, one drop of flow improver, about six drops of Armour Brown by Vallejo, and one drop of um, thinner, because it's already a model air colour. Didn't want to dilute it too much. And we'll do nice even cuts until we get a decent coverage and get rid of the lettering. Take about two or three passes, I think we should. Yeah, we'll carry on with that off camera and we'll come back when it's, uh, it's got a nice even coverage. So there we are, three even coats now and um, the lettering is gone. It's looking pretty good, a nice solid opaque base coat to work with now. So we'll crack on with the lettering next. So with the, the lettering, I found this uh, JPEG online uh, with like a, a logo for Kowalski. It looks something like that. So I drew it out. And then what I did, I used this um, draftsman's paper, it's like tracing paper, and then I transferred it to this piece of card so I can make a template. So the plan is now to spray uh, ivory and get that, that K, and then I'll do the, the, the squiggly bit in freehand, and then I'll try and do the text above it then uh, freehand again. I've, I've tried contacting people to get um, transfers made but I've had no response I don't know whether it's the 
current situation and nobody's you know taking any business on or not I don't know but I'm gonna have to do it the hard way so the good thing about is if you make a template with a card it will be reversible for the um, it doesn't have to be reversible does it you can use it over and over again so just spray the K there I don't know if it'll fit on the back there no I think it's slightly too big to go on the back but it should fit there on the side as well so before we apply the ivory I'm going to seal it again with uh, the tester's dull coat you know, just in case I lift the paint when I um, fix this in position with uh, masking tape so I'll give it a quick spray with dull coat and we'll be back Okay, so there's a slight change of plan with the letter and I've decided to go with aged white instead so it's slightly darker than ivory um, so same again I've added to it to the airbrush a little bit of flow improver a little bit thinner and I'm gonna just do it nice and easy I know the template is in position it's not gonna move because I've masked it down so there's no chance of it getting out of place or moving so just leave that dry I'll just blow air through the airbrush now to help it dry quicker and we'll give it another coat and that should be it should <laughs> it's drying now and just give it another pass make sure you get into the corners I've just given it a quick blast with a hairdryer and now I'll just remove the template so let's take away the masking tape see what I mean about the paint lifting I didn't spray that bit uh, Okay, so that gives us a good one to work with. So we've got the outline of the K. It's just working with um, the armor brown now to fine up the edges, make sure they're nice and sharp and put a little void in between the two struts of the K and then doing the swirl at the bottom. So that's pretty good, pretty good start. I think I need to dull coat the, the top of the wagon as well, otherwise I'm gonna lose all the paint. But that's a good to start. Okay, good bit about keeping the tracing paper is when the, the aged white is dry, you can apply that over the top and then do the outline of the inside of the K with your pencil. So this line here, or like it's like a heart shape. Do that, and then I did the squiggle to give me a a rough idea of where the outline is going to go. You can just make that out. Let's see the squiggle there. And I'm going to fill this in with the armor brown now. So I've applied the armor brown. Keep that handy. <laughs> I've applied the armor brown uh, to the palette. Uh, I've done exactly the same mixture as I use for the airbrush. So it was a drop of flow improver and a drop of thinner. And I'm just going to apply that. It'll probably take a couple of coats. Just remember you can move the van around. Don't keep in the... Don't um, struggle to get into places where it might be easier from a different angle.
And while I'm here, I'm going to go around the outside of the okay just to make sure it's got a solid line and there's no little leaks here and there. See, there's a little fade at the bottom of this one if I zoom. So there's a little fade around the outside of it. Just want to get rid of that now with the armor brown. So I'll just leave that to dry now and then we can do another couple of coats to bring that to the same intensity as the, the other side of it. So while I'm waiting for that to dry I'm going to go in with the aged white now and I'm going to follow the The outline of the swirl. I was going to take my time on this. Do a couple of coats there and you can tidy it up once it's dry. Okay, so that's about three coats of each. I'm just going in with a final coat of the brown. Just to fill it out. Let's correct any little, little errors. I still need to little bits here and there to get the, the age white up to scratch, but I think um, we're more or less there on that one. So we'll move on to the the side panel with the, it's going to be Kowalski's um, in text up there. And then another similar symbol to that there. So that side's done, the back is done. Um, I just need to show you now how we do the lettering. So if you remember, we got to that stage and um, we used the, the tracing paper to mark out that area and then put in the squiggle. And we're going to do exactly the same for the lettering. So I'll find my bit of tracing paper and I'll find a bit of masking tape. And what I'll do, I'll fit it over the piece that we've used the um, stencil to do the K. And that keeps the lettering in place. It's slightly skewed there, isn't it? So make sure you get it level with the The roof of the, the van. So that leaves me now to put in that squiggle. I'm 
and we'll use that as an outline. I can do the same with the lettering. So this gives us a guide and all you need to do then is just to flesh it out. So when you remove the tracing paper, you should be able to see the lettering. Right, so we got the lettering there and we got the little, the little squiggle is quite faint, but you can still make it out. Well, I've gone a bit wider than I wanted to, but it's, it's more or less there. So that's how we do the lettering. So um, I'm going to get the aged white ready and we'll do a couple of lines just to show you. So I've got the aged white and I'm just going to start with the, the lettering so you can see what I'm doing. I'm just using the tip of my brush to First of all, just to define where the pencil strokes are. And then I'll start thinking about fleshing them out a bit by just making the lines a bit thicker and then you do that just by pressing down just a little bit more on your brush and just taking your time this is a size one winter and noon series seven I'm just using the tip of the brush you don't have to get a size five zero. Um, you just need a brush with a good tip. Or a good point, I should say. And if you do veer off it's easy enough to use the uh, armor brown then and just to find the outline then and you can move the van into positions where it makes your brush stroke easier so I just like coming down down the way so I'll orientate the van into the optimum position where I know I've got a straight um, line that I can do a straight line so basically that's all there is to it really. Um, I'm going to carry on and do this side so it hopefully turns out as well as this side. And uh, that'll be the van finish then. Um, I need to do the, the grill, um, a lighter silver. I'll probably use chrome. Uh, give it a wash and um, with your know, null oil. And then another dry brush of chrome over the top and that should be done then. Um, this is going to be matte black. 
So I'll give that a coat later on because you can see the brown has gone onto there. So it's just a coat of matte black on there and the mud guards on the rail is going to be black as well. But, um, yeah, a bit of red in there with a gloss varnish over the top and he's done. So I'll carry on and I'll come back when it's finished and uh, you can see how it looks. Okay, there we are, finished. Um, I'm actually showing this off on the one of our Batman display boards at the minute because I'm, I'm in the middle of a, a project to do a gaming board set uh, in the time of the Fantastic Beasts. So it's going to be like an urban board again, but it's going to be 1920s buildings. Um, I've already sourced the uh, street lighting. Um, so uh, I've got plans to get another Model T Ford and hopefully another, maybe another vehicle as well. We'll see, see how it goes. Um, these are really cheap to pick up on eBay if you wanted to do it yourself. Um, so hopefully you'll pick up, you've picked up some tips on doing the lettering and the, the stencils and stuff like that. So as I said, the roof was done with black and the mud guards and the runners on the side are black. The radiator grill and the lights were chrome uh, with a little uh, null nail um, watered down. So it's, it's not a, a completely black wash, but just, um, just a little bit of uh, a change in tone on the, on the actual grill rather than on the top. So and I think it uh, turned out relatively well, so I'm quite happy with that. So that's the end of uh, this video. Hope you enjoyed it and um, I shall see you soon in the next one. Cheers.